The processing of multiple MIDI tracks simultaneously is very taxing on our computers and our devices. When you have too many instrument tracks, you may notice stuttering and skipping during playback. To reduce this problem, you may be tempted to increase your buffer size. However, this is going to introduce system latency, which is a problem in and of itself. So an alternative is to freeze MIDI tracks, and this will free up system resources without the need to increase buffer size. Freezing a MIDI track will render an audio file proxy and at the same time mute the MIDI data and disable track effects. What that does is free up system resources. So let's take a look at how this is done. So here I am in a project that has multiple MIDI and audio tracks. And I'm going to freeze the drum track in just a moment. If I wanted to continue to edit this track currently, there's no problem. I can just double tap and open up the sequencer. And it's that easy. However, I won't be able to edit this track once I freeze it. So keep that in mind. To freeze the track, I can go over to the track icon and long press and choose Freeze Track. I'll be prompted to save the song before the track is froze. And now that the track has been froze, I can see it's dimmed out, plus I have a little snowflake here to indicate that it is indeed froze. If I take a look at the channel strip off to the left, I see the same icon. Now the behavior is the same whether the track is frozen or not. It still plays back just fine. We just can't edit it. Now, if I want to edit the track at some point, I can unfreeze it by clicking on one of these snowflake icons wherever I see it. Or I can go to the track icon again and long press and choose unfreeze track. So that, my friends, is how you freeze a MIDI track and unfreeze a MIDI track. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments area. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more quality tutorials, please consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching.